safety's a big thing these days, yeah? So, I'm gonna have my, my morning safety meeting. Hey, Pete. Yeah? Don't do nothing stupid. Gotcha. Well, here we are. Year old 372 Husqvarna. Cooked it. Scoping out some trees. Check this out. Damn snake skin. That ain't a little one. It's hanging up here on these vines like he shed his skin up on this tree. That's pretty wild. Uh, let's see, what do we got in this tree? 25 inches from the eye. Uh, 30 inches. And we got a stick and a half out of that, so 30. One, probably about it's 36, 376 to 658. And I'm only going to get a stick and a half, so I'm going to say it's probably right around 500 foot. And that's a white oak. So, yeah, just wanted to show you all that. Up there it is, the last load of logs for this job. That's all pallet material, scrag wood. I started something different. I started cutting all my scrag shorter, eights and twelves. Just like it a little better. I didn't want to grab it. But uh, yeah, that's it. We were thinking it was only going to be a half a load. It turned out to be a lot more. I think that'll probably will be a little bit overweight. Not a lot. Maybe just like a thousand pounds, if anything. I doubt it. It's hard to say. As hot as it's been, the stuff dried out. It's pretty different around here, don't it? I gotta debark my box so I'll get it out here and then clean all that up with the dozer. Till the next one, John. All right. Show people what it looks like when a tree gets struck by lightning. It's a red oak. But I mean, basically what happens, what I'm told is when the tree gets struck, it boils the moisture. It falls wherever the most moisture is at in the tree. That's the path that the current follows because it's the path of least resistance. And, uh, it basically boils it and turns it to steam. That's why you, and it blows it out like that. And you can see it go all the way up and it just basically cooks the tree and kills it. So that's what it looks like. Pretty wild. Okay, there's a big red there. A little medium red and there's a soft maple right there. And I got that one hung up. Can you see the pink uh, boundary line right there? Middle screen right there. Okay, so that's got some side lean this way. I think this one's leaning into it a little bit. It, that one's free. I'm just going to try to come around and swing this, pull that, and hopefully that maple catches that other one and knocks it all down.
Well, didn't get that one hung up, but got the other one. So that's a bonus. Kept it on the right side of the paint. Going soft maybe just hollow. Most of it is down here. Blocking. Rail crew putting new ties in. Check that out. That's it boys, all new ties. That's what we like to see. Keep that tie market good. <laughs>